That was a bite. Ooh, yep, and a fish. This is just where I always go. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Dope. Oh, 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 oh. Telling y'all. This is a juicy spot. Welcome back to another episode of Real Talk with Reggie. Today we are at Two Rivers Park. Now, you might have seen a video of me fishing here before when I was trying out my monster bass gear, but I'm thinking about doing a new series where I show people some other places in Nashville that they can fish. So, Two Rivers Park is definitely one of them. Let's check it out. Cool, so this is what we got here. If you see over there, we've got a golf course, people golfing over there, and you can go over there. There's also a fountain over there, um, so you can just walk around this corner to check that out. But look at it. Dope place. Got some good bass here. Let's see if we can get on some. I've caught some here before, but I haven't been in a while. So let's see if we can catch. Any luck so far? Uh, nah. Dang. This one's been a little weird lately. Really? I haven't caught much out here lately. Dang. I used to catch a bunch. Really? Yeah. I've I've had some pretty good days here, but I don't come here that often. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. But I'm hoping for a good day today. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good luck to you. And this is probably the type of grass he's talking about. Oh, did you? Nice. Hope. Yeah, I was gonna say. Hopefully they're waking up. Oh, uh, so I was here. Um, I want to say six and i left my gopro batteries had to go back to the house uh, so you I, I saw your truck i was like wow i can't you, believe somebody beat me are you on youtube yeah what channel uh real talk with reggie okay yeah I'll check it out yeah for sure yeah man appreciate you man yeah <laughs> uh, where where else do you fish around here this is really the only spot i like to go because mm -hmm. i know i'm gonna hit got you yeah, yeah. I, I think i feel like i'm gonna hit. yeah i've always i fish here for like 15 years now. really but wow. you can go uh, there's a couple of boat ramps that I've hit on too. Okay. Because the Stones River comes through here and this yeah. goes straight to the Cumberland. Okay. So have you ever like mapped out this pond? No. So this is like a foot and a half, two foot. And really? that's like 10 feet down there. And it's just gradual all the way down. Really? Yeah. So this is super shallow. Gotcha. Right here probably five or six feet. Yeah. So, wow. But you can also go to Long Hunter. All right, let me write Julia. this down. Okay. Long it's, Hunter? Uh, it's got a pier. Okay. Um, they've got catfish and bass and brim. Dope. Okay. The dam, Percy Priest has a dam up there. Okay. Both sides, you can fish either side. Okay. The best time to go is when the water is moving. Right now, the water's not moving. Gotcha. Is that when they like let the water out? Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. After a good rain, uh -huh. you'll, see, you'll see it coming down. When it's just spraying like that, it's stale uh -huh. and there's not a lot of fish right there. Gotcha. But okay. I, this is just where I always go. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Dope. I didn't even know it was that deep over there. Yeah. So it, that's the overflow, that box. That makes sense. Yeah. So it's, Got it. It goes down that way. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Man, I appreciate yeah, that, man. man. What's your name? Matt. Matt Reggie. Cool. Nice to meet you, I'll bro. I'll follow you on YouTube. Appreciate you, Doc. All right, Doc. All right, peeps. <clears throat> so you see that stuff on top of the water? It's not grass. We can't use treble hooks. So I was throwing a top water with uh, treble hooks, a spook, not gonna work. So we're gonna switch to my favorite lure of the summer, a jerk bait, specifically the Zoom Super Fluke. This is my favorite lure of the summer, the Zoom Super Fluke. And I can't, I think this is an albino color. No, no, I don't, I can't remember. It's in a bag, can't remember. But this should catch us the fish that we wanna catch today. Okay. There we go. That feels like a better cast. Oh, that's a bite. Finally, you felt something. Might have been a bluegill, but it was a bite. That's fine. I'm gonna make some more casts over there because, as you know, they're a bluegill, they're a bass. Okay, we caught a tree this time. All right, we're getting better. We went from bluegill bites to catching trees. Now, we catch a bass. Yeah, okay. That's where the time it is. Catch a bass time. Catch a bass o'clock. Oh, this is a bite. Oh, that was a bite. That was a bite. Bluegill bite, but a bite. Guys, we found some bluegill, which is great. That means we're gonna find some bass. That's a fish. That's a fish. Come on, baby. Woo! Yeah, baby. Woo hoo! Yes. We will take it. We will take it, little guy. Wow. Look at this. Fat 
belly, fat belly bass. I mean, it, it's like, this belly is pretty, pretty nice size for this small fish. But listen, we'll take it. Woo. See you later, little guy. Bye. We'll take it, we'll take it. All right, now let's catch, let's catch a bigger one. Let's catch a bigger one, but we got our first one, baby. Let's go. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Cormoran got a fish. Gone. Those are those birds are tip. Oh wow, going to get another one. Okay, but we're wondering where the fish are. Yeah, they're out there. All right, let's head to a new location, peeps. I got some some grass and I tried to twitch just now got a little hold up oh there we go oh there we go there we go there we go come on stay down whoa 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 stay down 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 stay down, stay down. Woo! <laughs> people people we we're just talking about switching nice we got a little bigger <laughs> uh, we'll take it right a little bit bigger nothing too crazy still looks like another looks like another healthy fish for sure all right let's get the release on this guy here you go fish oh whoa whoa whoa, whoa. okay i was gonna try to like direct you but you got it see you later actually I don't know, I just touched the water again. Earlier when I touched the water, it seemed really warm. But now, I there's no way that fountain is like cooling this water like that, I don't. There's no way that's happening. But maybe I'll just touch the really warm spot in the water. But this water feels great now. Like this feels like great temperature to catch some bass. Crazy thing is I was thinking, Oh, this is not a good spot because there's no... Oh, that was a bite. Mm, yep, and a fish. Oh, whoa, whoa. This one looks much darker. Stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down, stay down. Whoa. <sighs> Guys. Whoa. We are on them. We are getting bigger. I'll take it. All right. Let's get you in the water. Nice, nice thick, nice calm release. Look at it, going down to it. Great. Peeps, we're in a good spot. I, I keep thinking this isn't a good spot because there's no, look, it's a sunny day, all right? Bluebird skies, no cloud cover, no anything. Um, also, there's no structure or anything. I'm not casting to anything, really. And like, there's nothing overhead. There's no trees overhead or anything. This is, we're just casting just, just out. Wow, okay, so. That's not normal, but I am keeping my cast parallel to the bank. So I guess that's helpful because I'm not just casting straight into the middle of the pond. Not a great idea. That's typically not where the bass are. Listen, we're gonna keep making casts. This is, this is surprising. I did not expect them to be right here. All right, make some more casts. That cormorant is still going down, like getting, or at least looking for more fish. I haven't seen it get caught any more since that first one I saw earlier. Matt said it's deeper over here, so it's probably cooler water. Maybe that's why we're having a higher success rate on these casts. Oh, that's a bite. That was definitely a bite. I'm trying to keep my lure above the grass so that it doesn't get stuck in all that stuff. Now I'm, I'm actually going to pop it up more or I can keep it up over that grass. I never realized how close this place is to the airport, but there's so many planes. Further down, that's out there. See what we're talking about. It looks like a little more structure over here. I'm seeing some things poking out of the water, so it's probably maybe some fallen trees and stuff over here, which would be lovely. Great place for bass to hide. Great place for bluegill to be as they wait to get eaten by some bass. I really wonder if that fountain coming on had an impact on the bite. I wasn't using this fluke before the fountain. It's not for sure. Not for certain, but I imagine both had to have an impact. To be honest, this cormorant still being in the area is a good sign. 
because clearly the fish are still here. Now, if he was like way out on the other side, I'd be, oh man, maybe we're in a bad spot. But he's staying over here, so we're gonna stay over here. He does this for a living. All right, this warning sign. I'm gonna make castle there. Because in theory, there should be a bass over there. Oh, dang. Did I get stuck on the snotgrass over there by the warning sign? Well, that makes it much more difficult to catch a fish. Unless the fish is about to think that this grass is a fish, which I don't think it will. Let's try that again. All right, come on. Oh, oh I had a bite, dang it. That was a bluegill bite though. Okay, that's fine. I'm gonna make another cast over here. I'll tell you that much. I'll tell you that much. This is definitely a place I think I'm gonna come more often. I don't come here very often. I've been here, this is probably my third or fourth time, but I think I'm gonna start coming here more often. Matt said that this is like his go-to spot because he catches fish here uh, like every time he comes here. Maybe this might be my go-to spot. Now, there is freeze over here, right? This is where I was casting early, it wasn't working out, but I was with the spook. Now, I'm gonna do this with my fluke. I'm pretty confident. I'm gonna catch a fish. Actually, I wanna make some casts right here first though. Just seems like a good spot to stand. I literally, there's no logic behind this cast other than it seems like a good place to stand. I've seen a person on uh what's those things called? Canoe? Not a canoe. Kayak. That's what it's called. Couldn't remember the name. I've seen people on kayaks out here. So if you wanted to do that, you could do that as well. I don't have a kayak, so I won't be uh doing that. But that would probably be the ideal way to hit that side over there where all the um, trees are. Probably catch a bunch of bass over there. In the winter when the water is lower, I was able to walk walk over there some and I definitely caught some on that side. Something to consider if you're gonna fish here. All right, feel good about this cast. I'm telling y'all, this is a juicy spot. It's cooler, lay downs, trees in the water, Got some shade from these little branches right here. This is a good spot. I'm telling you. Now, are the fish here? They better be because that's where they need to be. They should be here. It's too good of a spot for them not to be here. Now, bite this fluke so I can show the people. This is my final guess. They're on the other side of this tree. Maybe they are still at the tree, but on the other side. All right, so it's my last cast on this side and then we'll go to the other side. Every time I've said I was about to move or about to leave, I've gotten a bite, so maybe I should just say that. I'm about to leave. This is my last class before I leave. See y'all later, fish. No? Okay. It couldn't have been mere coincidence each time. There's gotta be something to it. You, know, you never know. Maybe there are some fish on this side away from the aerator, the oxygenated water. Maybe there's some fish that's like, you know what, I got enough oxygen in my water. Like, I'm cool. I, I'll come over here where it's harder to breathe. Oh, 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 oh. guys, what the heck? 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 Guys, I didn't even feel it on. What? Hey, 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 relax, relax, relax. Guys, I snagged this fish. Look, look, it's on the side of the lip. I just snagged it. Look how, God, look how easy that came out. Barely caught this. And this is probably the biggest one of the day. What in the world is happening today? Guys, this is probably the biggest one so far. What? That is crazy. <sighs> wow, that is wild. All right, let me put you back. See you later. Peace. I was literally making a joke about how this probably isn't an ideal spot to cast, and I was wrong. So the fountain over there creates more oxygen for the fish, so you would think that, you know, they'd be in that area um, because, you know, more oxygen, easier to breathe. All that good stuff. That's not the case over here. I made that cast and twitch, twitch, pause, you know, doing my, my thing. Made that cast and I felt like I was getting stuck on some of this snot grass. So I was trying to pull 
my lure over the grass and really take it out of the water. But I snagged that bass. I guess it was, it looked like, I guess maybe it was like trying to get my lure and then I just snagged it at the perfect time. As you saw the hook come out, it was like butter. Like I didn't, no force at all. It just slid right out. Crazy. Wow. Hey man, Two Rivers Park, this could be yours. This could all be you. I'm gonna make another cast. Let's see what happens. Look at this. Let me get this out of here. I will say in this snot grass situation, it's probably great that I have braided line because my line is strong enough to just like pull up all of this stuff without, without it being a problem. Cause this stuff is heavy on your line. All right, peeps, it was a great day of fishing. If you have not been to Two Rivers Park, definitely got to check it out. Got the golf course on the other side, just a dope, cool place to fish um if you want to find other places to fish in nashville let me know in the comments and i'll keep this series going so let me know what y'all think peace